What we do at Vertex is tackle really tough problems and we don't give up. Hepatitis C we started in 1994. Cystic fibrosis we started in 1998. These are long roads, lots of ups and downs along the way, but in drug discovery, you just don't give up. In the United States, our science and math education is um, poor. And what we've lost is the joy and fun of it. I grew up in uh, North Carolina, out in the country, and to me, the science was all around. And my father was a textile chemist. He and my mother just encouraged all of us to be inquisitive. One of the things my father did was enable me to build a laboratory above the garage. He just provided materials, uh, chemicals that he got. Then I would do experiments. Years later, when I got to Wesleyan, but early on, a professor came up to me and said, would you like to work in my laboratory? That was how difficult it was to get a position working in a laboratory. I said, sure, it sounds fun. But the person who had even more influence on me was my organic uh, chemistry professor, uh, Max Tischler. He was the head of research at Merck Laboratories for many years. When Max retired from Merck, it was said that he had in his name, patents on 10 of the top 100 drugs in the United States at the time. So he was an eminent scientist, and yet he was there personally teaching me how to hold a burette and how to run a titration. What Max really left me with was that what I was learning in the classroom could actually be useful. So after I graduated from Wesleyan, I got a PhD at Harvard in organic chemistry. At Harvard, most of my friends were poised to go to academic jobs. I never considered that. I always thought that what I was learning at Harvard needed to be applied to some practical problem. I went straight from there to Merck. My connection to Max Tischler was definitely important. I was hired during a hiring freeze. Uh, Max had sent the word that there may be a hiring freeze, but this is somebody that you should hire. I spent a little over 10 years at Merck. I was very interested in bringing technologies together. I was always talking to the biologists. I was well known inside the company about using disciplines that were not just talking to each other in committees, but were actually deeply embedded with each other um, as a new idea about how to do drug discovery. And it was Christmas 1988 and my closest uh, Merck scientific friend he went to give a lecture in, in Europe uh, right before Christmas and came back on Pan Am 103, the flight that went down over Lockerbie. That had a big influence on me. I had a great job. I had a, a wife and baby children, and I left a salary for no salary. And I left with no proprietary technology and no patents, and I had no people. I took nobody with me, and I, and I decided to start a new kind of drug company. first four months with a whiteboard and no objective assets. I thought it would take 10 to 20 years to build a drug discovery company that can actually bring a drug to the marketplace. I thought it would take a billion dollars in capital. It's taken actually over five billion dollars. <laughs> Welcome to Vertex. So after Vertex's first 10 years, and these are now 10 years of 20-hour days of 100 people dedicating their lives to solving one medical problem, we came out with our first uh, drug, or HIV protease inhibitor. It was one of the first of the AIDS drugs that was used in combination cocktail that really changed the way that AIDS was looked at. 
And we started working on a number of other programs, one of which will become our second uh, major product. And this is a, uh, a drug that, used in combination therapy, is a cure for hepatitis C. There are 170 million people chronically infected in the world. Almost all of those infected people will have, if they live long enough, they don't die of something else, they'll die a very slow, horrible death from hepatitis C. And so what our drug called Tilaprevir does is block hepatitis C from reproducing. If you block hepatitis C from reproducing, uh, your body will get rid of the, the last infection itself and you're actually cured. We have two programs that are coming to fruition in, in 2011. One, a breakthrough in hepatitis C, and another one in cystic fibrosis, a genetic disease, where we have the potential to bring the first drug ever for any genetic disease that treats the genetic disease directly to the marketplace. And we're also working on cancer, pain, epilepsy, and debilitating immunological diseases like uh, rheumatoid arthritis. What we do at Vertex is tackle really tough problems, bring very interdisciplinary teams together, and we don't give up. Cystic fibrosis, we started in 1998. The first drug could be on the market in 2012. These are long roads, dedicated people, lots of ups and downs along the way. You only have to see a couple of cystic fibrosis patients to say you have a lot at stake.